I will now rate some of the houses on my server by how good they look, from 0 to 10, with 10 being the best. 0 1 1 Not a house 2 Ew, 0 Okay, you, you know what? This, this is not this is not even a house. I quit. I quit. I'm out. I'm done with Minecraft. Hey, what is up, ninjas? It's Bloodzellos. Welcome back to another house tutorial. If you guys loved the first two I did, you are going to love this one even more. Behind me, you can see the houses I did tutorials on. This one is way cooler than both of those, uh, so I think you will really enjoy this. I actually got this design from a member of my server. Um, he, he taught this to me, um, and it's a good thing he did, because if he hadn't taught me to do this, uh, you'd probably be watching me teach you how to build a dirt house. First you place the dirt here, and then a dirt here, and then a dirt... So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm going to be working on the tower, or it's not really a tower, this is the corner of your house, you're going to do this in um, one, two, three, four, five, you're going to do this on each corner of your house, I'm only going to build one because it's pretty simple. Um, <laughs> and then you just put it in all four corners, and it's very easy, or uh, it's not not easy is what I'm trying to say, as compared to the rest of the house. It's the only part you'll maybe get confused on, uh, but if you can build this, you can build the rest. Now this is kind of a sandstone mansion, but I sort of hesitate to call it a mansion because it depends on how big you build it. I mean, if you build it this size, it's only kind of a mansion, um, but if you build it big enough, it's the right design that it could be called a mansion. So what we're going to do here is we're going to knock out these two, and we're going to put in fence posts, and we'll take out the three... Um, three blocks from the middle row uh, to the fence post and put in these. You could also put windows there, it's uh, completely up to you. Um, so this is only like the second time I've done this, so I'm really going to have to try and uh, figure out what I'm doing. Now we're going to take stairs and we're going to go around the outside like so. Uh, just like that. And this is, as I said, creating the corner of your house. So stairs around like that, and now we're going to go up here and place a piece of stone brick on each side and then continue the stairs around like so. Uh, so we're kind of making like a pyramid corner roof little design type thingy. And uh, we're going to continue this up. That should be high enough for now. This isn't really a tower and you'll see what it looks like in a minute. Um, it's just kind of a, a cool little design. And then you can also come fill in the back side of your tower thingy because uh, that'll make it easier to continue your staircase. Staircase. This is, this is a roof. This is not a staircase. Um, like that, and I believe we want to just do one more here. Uh, so we'll build that up one more. And then, like so. So you should have just two staircases here at the top. Um, then what you're going to do is give yourself sandstone right there. And actually, sandstone like that too. And then one more layer across the entire top of stone brick. Um, like that. And then we'll take a fence post, put it right there, and a half stone brick slab and put it right there. Now that's the corner of your house, and it looks a little stupid right now, um, but once we get that done in all four corners, and then we also get ourselves a um, some walls, it'll look really, really cool. If you haven't seen this, it was actually in my server tour cinematic, um, so you can see what it looks like if you really want to right now. I'm actually going to replace that corner with stone brick. You probably shouldn't have wool outside. So I'm going to go ahead and build these towers in the other four corners, and then we'll uh, work on the walls, and you'll start to see this house come together. So once you've finished your four towers, it should look something like this, and obviously at the moment it looks a little retarded, but it'll look quite sexy soon. Uh, the last thing we're going to do here is uh, cut into these so you can kind of make a room in there. So you're going to break the three corner blocks, one, two, three, and then two on each side like that and it makes kind of a nice little entryway. Also, maybe the bats will stop spawning. So one, two, three, one, two, and then one more time over here. So the next step here is to start working on the walls, which will connect the whole house and make it not look absolutely retarded. Uh, so let me get right into that, and I'll be back when I've done something. All right, I got the walls up. This house is starting to take shape. Um, I've decided this will be the front, kind of goes in line with all of those, and uh, so we're gonna make it look a little more house-like now, and not like a giant freaking stone wall. Uh, so we're going to count up to the fifth row, which I believe is that row. And uh, we're just going to add in, oh my god, oh my, oh my damn. We're just going to add in a stone brick layer here that kind of divides up your uh, your sandstone because giant walls, solid walls of one block uh, look a little bit stupid. So we're going to go like that. And if I can remember how to do this, one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth block is going to become sandstone stairs. 
Uh, which are right here, and I don't know what I don't need. need that. Uh, like that, and we're gonna break up two, and then right there. Clear out the middle, and um, see, I think that also becomes sandstone stairs. Yes, like that, and clear that out. This will be your entranceway, um, and then I think the original one had iron bars, but that should work fine. Now, break out your windows. We'll just go with threes for now. Three by two by three uh, in the front, like so. So yeah, I guess this house, if you build it this way, it looks cool, but it doesn't really have a real door. I mean, anything could just walk in, but I think it looks cool, and that's what that's what I care about. I'm not here to teach you how to make your house have a door. I'm here to teach you how to make it look cool. Um, so there's your, your entryway. Now what we're going to do here is the windows on the side, and these are pretty simple. One, one, two, one, two, and one, and then we'll go like this over here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in, we'll go one more in. So that is one, two, three, four, five wide. I'm pretty sure I'm in love with shutters. Maybe I'll marry them or have sex with them or one night stand or something. Uh, but we're gonna put in our shutters. These are pretty much necessary, in my opinion, to making some windows look good. I didn't do it up there, I didn't have room, but put in your shutters. I'm using um, oak, I like spruce better, but I'm using oak because this is light sandstone and a little bit too much contrast if I was to use spruce would look a little funny, so we're avoiding that. In the back, I think I'm just going to do one giant window, so we'll leave two on that side, two on this side, and we'll break that all out. This will be kind of like your your bay window. You can have it overlooking the mountains or something. Of course, we will also put in our shutters, because these are important. Um, I just want to say right now, guys, um, I've been having so much fun doing YouTube lately, and my channel's growing massively. If you're watching this video on Minecraft.net, um, he wants to turn this into a big series, so please give this video a like, because he's trying to turn this into a, an official series that I do um, for you guys every week or two. Uh, so if you give this video likes, he is going to be a lot more inclined to do that. It'd help me out a ton, and also helps him out a ton, and he's a cool guy, so um, I would suggest you give this video a like if you are enjoying it. Of course, if you're not enjoying it, I completely understand. Also, subscribing to me is, is never a bad thing to do. Uh, so let me just finish up our windows here. Okay. Uh, now, I think we'll have to do that on the second floor. I will admit, this is the furthest I've ever actually built this house on my own. Um, so what I'm going to do here is make the roof, show you how to do that, and then we will work together on the insides, because um, there's going to be a second floor and probably more windows. But I hope you guys are liking what you're seeing so far on the sandstone mansion. I'll get right back to you when the roof is done. So I made one tiny mistake before I do the roof. I want to make sure I clear this up. There's actually supposed to be one more layer across the top um, of the entire house. So just add your stone brick where there was stone brick, and then add your sandstone where you had sandstone. Uh, if I had forgotten to do this, it would have been a true pain to uh, build the rest of the house. And as I said, this is like the first time I've done this, uh, the entire house. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I'm learning this as I go. Um, so just add in that, that last layer and then you're good to go on the roof. Onto the roof, which I've kind of started here. Uh, what you're going to do after you've placed that second layer that I forgot, uh, at the top of that layer, you're going to go three uh, half slabs out all the way around your house, uh, like so. And then when you get to the corner, which we're about to here, you're going to continue to go out three facing the lengthwise of your roof, if you see what I'm doing, one, two, three. And we're just going to do that all the way in, uh, like this, and then we continue that pattern over here, and what will happen, remember just count three, what will happen is you'll have this uh, this space right here, and that kind of is going to look cool eventually later on. So what your roof should look like, I forgot this, these two corners, but what it should look like when you've done the first layer is this, um, three blocks out from your wall, and then three blocks out this way from the last um, the last block on your wall. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue the roof a little bit, and then I'll... Uh, jump in so you guys can see what I'm doing. So what you're gonna do now is um, basically you're gonna layer your roof up kind of like a pyramid, nine layers. So as you can see right here I have three, one, two, and three right here. You're gonna do that up nine times and then you're just gonna cut it nice and flat. So what you'll have to do is half slabs um, on the first layer, the second layer will then be normal stone brick, the next layer, the fourth layer will be stone brick plus a half slab, always increasing by one slab and always moving in one block. So it'll be kind of like a pyramid roof, but it won't won't be a complete pyramid. So after nine layers, just cut it and you'll go flat. Um, that's going to take me forever, so when I finish with that, we will get back together. Whee! 
Uh, never, ever, e I'm sorry. So I have finished the roof. I actually only did seven layers, if you can count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I suffer from a rare form of extreme laziness. Um, so I decided not to do nine, because it would have taken me a whole other two or three minutes. Anyways, now we have to do the second floor, which is very simple. You're just going to fill in most of this entire area with uh, stone half slabs. You're going to do the top half of the stone row you put out in the front, so the fifth layer. Top half, obviously, so we can build on it. And actually, you're going to do this, and then you're going to break some of them um, to make a staircase. But I want to do the floor first, so I have an idea how the staircase should work. So let me fill this in, and then we'll get back and work on the staircase. So I sort of just came up with my own little staircase design here. Uh, basically what I did is I came over here and uh, broke the two blocks here. Came out one, two, three, four, and that gave me the opening first to walk through. I built the staircase down from that, alternating between sandstone and um, stone slabs. I'll give you a second to look at that. If you need to pause, you kind of get what's going on. Um, that's cool with me. Then I, up here just for fun, um, cut out sort of a circle. You can make this whatever size you want. And what I'm going to do is uh, go around this with glass panes. This will be sort of like a balcony. All real mansions have to have a balcony or they're not actually a mansion. They're just a, a stupid, stupid little house. So we'll add this little overhangy balcony thing in. And then I think in the corners I want to put these with torches because it's kind of dark up here. We don't have windows yet. Um, that being said, let's make some windows. So let me go downstairs and figure out what I did for the windows. Looks like they're just three big. All right. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And uh, make ourselves some windows. I'm going to cut here because uh, you know how to make windows. It's going to be the same pattern as downstairs. Um, although I do want to mention I didn't show this, but I added windows up here. Just three across. So, And the f on the bottom floor, there was not this window. I added that in. Otherwise, it's the same as the bottom story. So let me add these windows in and we'll get back and work on the interior. Alright, the second to last thing we're going to work on here is the interior decoration. Uh, what I've done over here is, let me put, put some signs on this, is basically taken green plants and gone around the outer edge. You know, rich people fucking love green plants, um, like so, and uh, obviously that's built pretty simply. You're going to place your spruce. I'm using spruce this time because it does work on the inside. And then uh, build up. We're just going to follow the walls all the way around. Uh, just add a little bit of color because otherwise this house is a little dull. And then we'll put signs on that. You can also do trap doors. I personally like signs better, um, but it's completely up to you how you do that. Uh, so what I want to do right here is make like a pool table. One, two, three, I think should be good. And then we'll just, I don't know how big a pool table is. It's probably a little big, but it's fine. It's fine. And then we will trap door it up. Like so. And we need a little more light in this room. Also, it's almost nighttime. That's probably part of it. Um, but yeah, this room needs a little more light. So after we finish this pool table, I'm going to come up with some sort of strategy to make it not so dark right in here. That is the one problem with half slab roofs is they do sometimes have lighting issues. Um, actually, they often have lighting issues. I guess actually a very easy fix would be to just... Uh, we don't need these. You just put something here and here. All right, that was simple. Um, also, what I did is I took out the sandstone corner on each one of these, put a light in, or a torch, and then I also put a torch in on each side of the corner block of the roof, um, just so the roof wasn't so dark. Now, downstairs, the uh, only thing I really want to do, or there's two things I want to do. Um, one, two, three. That should be good. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to make a like, a like a dining table area here on both sides. So I guess we'll go three by one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we're gonna make this a massive piston table. So dig down uh, two layers. Put in your redstone torches. Obviously, this house is not like the last two I've done, which were good looking and very resource um, efficient. This one takes a lot of resources. On the other hand, though, I think it is definitely much better looking than the other two. Um, so that is that is what I have to say about that. Now we have a lovely piston table. If we want, we can put chairs around here. Like this. Actually, maybe maybe not this corner. Okay, and um, I'm going to do that on the other side, uh, too. Okay, so the interior is done. On three of these corners, I just put in bookshelves. I really wanted to make like an enchanting room. However, if you put the enchantment table there, it doesn't work. If you put it here, you have enough books to get you about 20 levels, I believe it was. Yeah, 
20 levels, um, so you would have to make these towers a little bit bigger uh, to make an enchanting enchanting room. And then over here I made like a mini room that looks kind of dumb, but just to show you that you could turn it into a room if you wanted to. Now the only thing I don't like about this is this black square right here. That's from the pool table upstairs. Um, and it's because I built with half slabs. If you really, if that really bugs you, you can always build the floor using full um, blocks. That's not a problem either. I chose half slabs. Um, it wouldn't make too big of a difference if you use, used full slabs, or you could just not build a pool table. Um, but that is the inside of the house. You are basically done. Now I'm just going to do a quick couple things outside to decorate it, and uh, we will be done with this lovely tutorial. So the fence we're going to build for this house is pretty simple. I think it looks nicer than the ones I did over there. We're going to place a piece of sandstone, count five leaves, place another piece of sandstone, five leaves, one piece of sandstone. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, leaves diagonal and place a piece of sandstone in line with that then we'll continue the pattern up to the back and um, Five leaves again and sandstone and we're gonna cover this all up with half stone slabs like so uh, So let me finish this vents and then I will show you how this lovely house looks when you are completely done That is it guys if you followed this tutorial step by step or even if you improvised on your own You should have a lovely looking sandstone mansion now with a lovely sexy fence and you can do whatever you want to this outside courtyard area it's completely up to you as well as the inside it's all customizable i really hope you guys enjoyed this video I, i'm liking these tutorials they're fun to make uh, next time i'll try and do a mountainside house because i know a lot of people want that um it'd be awesome if you guys if you had all enjoyed this to subscribe i think i may have said that earlier because uh you know it makes me feel happy it makes me happy inside and also um i want to hit 2,000 subscribers sometime in the near future so if you enjoyed this leave a like if you're watching this on minecraft.net's channel especially leave a like because uh he wants to make this a series and i want him to have the motivation to do so if you're on my video on my channel leave a like and thank you so much for being my subscriber it means a lot uh to become a ninja all you got to do is subscribe follow me on twitter at bloodzellos add me on skype bloodzellos fans I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to suggest new house ideas in the description comment section. Bye, guys.